In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the customized product page if you have the Boostify Pro theme. So let's get started. Myself Hardy from ecomhardy.com and I'm here on the WordPress admin dashboard. I have Boostify Pro theme installed. Now, if I go and check it out the front end of this website, this is the k3kitchen.com. And if I check any of the product pages, so let me open this one maybe and see uh, the product page looks nice and decent. But if I want to make some modifications just by myself, just by going to the customize section, it may not allow me many options to customize. So I must have to create the customized product page where I can customize in the way I want. So you can see here on the customize section here, if I go to WooCommerce and product single and on the general settings, I have a few things like breadcrumbs. I can turn on or off product navigation and I can make some changes like loading bar if I want to turn it off. But apart from that, I do not have any options if I want to set anything in particular order. So what I can do is I simply close this one and go back. If I go to the left hand side panel and Boostify and under the Boostify, if I go to Whoop Builder, here you will find add new post section. So simply click to that and select what type of page you want to customize. So there are a bunch of options. I want to customize the product page. So simply click to product page and give a name like product page. If you want to customize specific product page for specific categories, you can do so. So you can just apply or rename in particular way. I want to customize knife category product page and then i can rename like that so this is the generalized template i want to create so i just simply click to create template and once i click so it will open up the elementor customizer so it is the blank section here nothing you have so you can start from the scratch now if you want to have some reference handy with you you can always have side by side so you know how you want to customize and what sort of page you want it to be looked like. First, I start by searching the widgets product and you will see all the product widgets here. But if you don't want to search, you can always expand. I just expand this particular one, Boostify product. And here I have multiple options available. So what I can do first is Boostify default product images. I simply click to Flexbox first one and double structure. So, so two containers in the first container. What I'll do is I go to plus sign and I will add this one product images section here. And this will include the slider on the left hand side. So if, if I want these thumbnails on the bottom, I can always change it by going to the customization section of the theme. On the right hand side, I want to add the title, search for title and product title. The second thing I want to add is the price. So I just search for the price, justify product price. And you can change the color of this section as well. So simply change the color to and the sale price color. I want to change it to I want typography bold. So style weight is bold. And here the weight would be 500 medium. And this is the nearly black or dark gray color. So it looks good. Now, another thing I want to add is I want to increase the size. 22 should be okay. 23, 24 is okay. And this one, I'm going to set it to 20. That looks good. Now, the variations. So, or add to cart shows up here underneath that. So, it includes the variation as well. And before variations, I want to add the short code or the review. I want to add the ratings. And uh, below that, I'm going to add the image here and I will going to choose the image which would be this one and I want, I want to resize the image so make sure it's not too big that looks decent size and make sure it starts from the left that looks good now apart from that I also want to add the frequently bought together items okay and advanced settings so small would be good. And another section I want to add, again, flex down. And here, I'm going to add the tabs, also called accordion, so product data tabs. And here you will get all the product data sets. So customer can check out additional information or reviews. Looks good. 
Now, underneath of this one, if I scroll down, I want to add another section. And here I want to add, again, frequently bought together items, another section, recently viewed items. Now, it says recently products. It doesn't look good. So recently viewed should be okay. No recent. Maybe I just make it empty if there is no any recent view and looks good. The title H4 tag style, I can make it maybe bold. That looks good. Maybe center is good. So far, everything looks very good. Check this. So preview changes. So I quickly open the preview page. Somehow it's not showing because I think the product is not selected. Let me just publish and see whether it looks okay or not. Now, if I go to the front end of the website, let me open the visit site and open any products. Now you can see as per the design, it is reflecting the product page. So it's green color. This is grayish color. Here are the star rating. Here are the decent size trust badges. Description additional information is showing. Review. Only thing I found is not showing is frequently bought together items and the recently viewed items. So let me open another product and see whether it shows recently viewed item at the bottom or not. It started showing now, which is good. Now, if I just imagine if I go to shop and if I open this item in particular and then go to shop again and this item, so I viewed three items recently. Now, if I go down, you can see here recently viewed items showing correctly. And if I go to shop again and view another item, there will be three items showing up under recently viewed. That's working correctly. Another thing I was expecting here was the frequently bought together, which is this one. So this is the product frequently bought together items. And somehow it's not showing. So if I go back, exit WordPress, and if I go to Wustify dashboard and add-ons, and here you will see the add-on called frequently bought together. So simply click to settings, buy this bundle and get 25% discount. Instead of that, I can set to 12% or 15%. Buy more and save 12% when you buy three items or three products together. All at the cart, with a product summary or tab, doesn't matter. Percentage of discount of total item frequently bought together. And the add-on looks good. Somehow we have to make an effect to work. So in order to activate this frequently bought together, what I have to do is I have to go particular product. So products here, all products. And just imagine this product, Japanese utility knife, this one. So if I select that in here, you will see the option called frequently bought together. Now I have to enter the product name. So again, I can add another knife and maybe select that, this one. So now three items all together. I can select 12% discount. And when you enable this option, the settings will override global settings. I'll plug in all good now. I don't want to because I already set global settings of 12% discount. Just update the changes. And now if I open this particular item here, I right click, you can see here they are frequently bought together. I can also change the way it looks. So the style. So if I go to wide and then publish, and then I go back here and refresh the page, the way it will look is different. So now it shows something like this one. I can check like that, but it doesn't look that good if I set it just under the trust badges. So the best way is I can set this one be here and then publish. Now, if I refresh the page, you can see buy this bundle and get 12% discount. Buy more, say more, 12% off when you purchase three products together. So as a customer, I can add all these three items. The selection is already here. So you can select or change the selection if you want. Just imagine this one. And then all add to cart. And if I add to cart here, if I view the cart and if I check everything, if I proceed to checkout, there is a discount price applied 
to this one, which is good. So that's how it works. The designing of the product page is simple with Elementor and Boostify theme. Hope you learned something new today. If you are here for the first time, I create a lot of WooCommerce and e-commerce based, Shopify based tutorial videos on this channel. So feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified first. Also thumbs up to this video if you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.